Thank you. Well, we have some new information tonight about a building collapse in Hooksit that left 60 people homeless. The property manager is now offering a timeline of just how long it will take to get some repairs done in order to allow people back into their homes. The 60 people forced out of their homes by a roof collapse in Hooksit won't be getting back into their building anytime soon. No, they're not allowed in tonight and not likely tomorrow night at this point, no. Around 4 this morning, a section of the roof at 126 Mammoth Road collapsed under the weight of heavy snow. Residents were immediately evacuated. It sounded like the earth was just moving. I mean, the building was shaking, our apartment was shaking, and uh, it was quite a roar. We just heard a loud bang. It sounded like a car was crashing into our building. So we woke up and we were like, what is that? And right away the fire alarms went off. Structural engineers and an insurance adjuster spent the day surveying the complex and this evening some encouraging news. It's a little better than we thought it might be at 4 o'clock this morning. Um, the roof can be rebuilt. It's going to take a, a matter of weeks as opposed to months. So that's the good news. Property management says the goal tomorrow is to get the roof shoveled off. By Wednesday, they hope residents will be allowed to get their personal belongings. But Peter Doloff says it will still be a few weeks before anyone can move back in. At least not until the structure of this roof and others in this community is reevaluated. The construction in these buildings is typical 1970s construction. There were big roofs and the, uh, the, the lumber was undersized. So the engineer is working on some corrective drawings. We will go through all six buildings. Um, in the near future here, uh, before next winter, obviously, and um, do corrective uh, structural work inside the uh, attics to make sure this never happens again. And workers had been shoveling snow off the roofs at this Hooksit complex last week. OSHA officials ordered them to stop after receiving complaints the shovelers were not tethered. Shoveling has since resumed at the complex.